Okay, so for the following circuit, we have to find R Norton and I Norton. So R Norton will be equal to R Devenant. So let's find that. So we can turn off all independent sources. So this one will be an open wire. This one is short circuit. So it will be um, something like this. So it will be 3, 3, 6. And that's just like it's something like that. And then if we combine those two, we get RTH to be equal to 3 ohms. Okay, now R Norton is equal to RTH, so R Norton is 3 ohms. Now let's find I Norton. To find I, I, I Norton, it will be the current passing through here. But the current passing through here is zero. But we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna short circuit it first, and so that means the current passing through here is no longer zero because there's a wire here that we forcefully added. Now, since there's a wire here, we can technically ignore the six ohm resistor because all the current will pass through whatever way is easier. So they notice that hey, the six ohm resistor it's easy, it's hard to pass through it. So we're gonna all skip it and move through here there's no resistors or anything blocking our path so we can pretty much ignore this so we can rewrite the circuit like this so four amps here 15 3 3 let's call this point va the current passing through this direction is i norton and let's have current passing through here. Let's call it IA. And this is the ground node. So for node VA, it's IA plus IN equals 4. IA is VA over, v, sorry, VA minus 15 over 3. Plus IN is VA over 3 equals 4. So let's solve for VA. So, so VA will be equal to um, 13.5. So IN is equal to 13.5 over 3. Remember this formula. And that gives you 4.5. So I Norton is equal to 4.5. And let's draw, let's draw the Norton uh, circuit. So there's a current here, 4.5 amps. Our resistor here, 3 ohms. And then we copy this portion of the circuit over here. So it'll be A, B.